Hi everybody and welcome. In this lesson we are going to set up the Godot interface. When we start up Godot we see a project list like this one. We are going to create a new project. Let's browse and let's create a new folder and we're gonna call it Basketball. We're going to name the project Basketball2. So here we have an empty project. Let's have a quick look around to see what we see. We have a view here, that's a 3D view, but we want to make a 2D view, so let's click on 2D. As you can see, we have our screen here. There's a rectangle with two blue lines and a green and a red line showing the extents of the screen. Here we have some resources. Let's create a new folder in the resources and name it graphics. The resources are things like pictures and sounds and things like that. Here we have our scenes. Let's go to new scene and save. As you see it says that this cannot be done because we don't have a root node. So let's add a root node. We click on the plus here and add the node. Node is the most simple of all nodes. Once added, we're going to rename it to root. And now that we've added the node, let's see if we can save. Yes, we're going to save a scene and we're going to call it main. The main scene has been added to the resources. You can also see that we are able to drag guidelines onto our screen. If you want to remove these guidelines again you just drag them off screen like so. As a next step we are going to add another node. This time we are going to add a node named texture rect. This is a texture rectangle. Texture rectangle is immediately added to the scene. Down here in the inspector we see a number of properties of the texture rectangle. For example, under here we see position and size property. Also rotation and scale. We have a lot more properties. For now it's enough to know position, size and rotation. I can move this box around and as you can see the position and size changes. Now let's go to the graphics folder. Here I have some uh, images which I have already created. I'm going to drag them into the graphics folder and my resources. We have background, ball, hoop, net and robot. Let's click and drag the background image to the texture property. So this is the texture property of the texture rectangle node. Before we run the project we have to set the main scene. We go to uh, project settings and here we can set all sorts of parameters of the game. We go to run and here we have main scene. We want to select the main.tscn scene as our original scene, as our main scene. This is a scene which will start up when the game runs. Let's click on the play button to test it. As you can see we have a simple game right now in a simple window. We can't do anything yet but we can move the window around and we can maximize, minimize and close the window. Moving on, let's add another node. This time we are going to add a sprite. Make sure we add a 2D sprite, not a 3D sprite. We can easily tell the difference between 2D and 3D because 2D is blue and 3D is uh, red. First, let's rename the sprite. We're going to rename the sprite to 
hoop. Here you can see that the sprite also has a texture property. Let's drag the hoop picture to the texture slot. So hoop is a child of a texture rectangle. So this means that if I move the texture rectangle, the hoop will move along with it. Let's move the hoop over here. Now hoop and texture rectangle are both children of root. Hoop and texture rectangle are siblings. So now if I move the texture rectangle, hoop stays in its own place. We do notice that hoop is behind the texture rectangle, but we would like hoop to be in front of the texture rectangle. So let's drag it down here below the texture rectangle. Now we have the hoop in front, we can move it around. To be sure that we don't accidentally select the texture rectangle, we can use this lock button to lock the texture rectangle. And that way we can easily move the hoop by clicking and dragging it to the location it needs to be. That brings me to these buttons here. So far we've been using the select and move tool. We also have this move tool. And we've got this button which rotates the node. We've got this button which changes the location of the center point of the node. We've got this button which we use for panning. Here we have snap settings. Usually I don't use snap settings but they could be very useful. Lock we already talked about and view might also be useful. We can show a grid and helpers. And that was all for this lesson. Let's do an exercise next. In the next exercise, you should add three sprite nodes and rename them to ball, net and robot. These nodes should be children of the root node, but they should be siblings of one another and they should also be siblings of the nodes texture, rect and hoop. After you've rename these nodes. You should import the textures and you should add it to the sprite. You can find the textures online. You can down them from the link in the description or in the resources or you can create some images yourself if you prefer. So good luck with the exercise and I will see you in the next video where we will quickly cover the solution. Bye bye!